Actually, if you uh, look into the way the digitization has started, originally it started to uh, change, like say, particularly to improve the internal efficiency of the organization from taking everything from paper to paperless, particularly to take care of the internal uh, record keeping. After that, the first introduction basically came with the uh, introduction of the uh, ATM machines. Along with that, you had your internet banking and mobile banking which basically improved the do-it-yourself banking. The uh, Probably you know, over a period of 10 years, people started using that. Along with that, your internet banking and uh, mobile banking uh, came. Now, the next level of uh, digitization is happening in the every line of, uh, uh, like say, the banking processes. Starting from onboarding to even to the credit delivery and all by getting access to multiple uh, data points which are available and uh, to which the banking sector is getting access to. Basically, now the uh, point is how to identify the pain points and uh, removing the pain in each and every stages of the banking. So that is uh, in that way, the uh, starting from the customer onboarding to credit delivery to monitoring, almost the do-it-yourself uh, thing has taken almost to not less than 98 percentage of the thing. By and large, even to the small ticket uh, uh, lending like personal loans and all like the uh, uh, automation and pre-approved credits and all have uh, come. All these things are helping people uh, through digitization to get the access to the banking services in a better way. The first and foremost thing is like uh, if you uh, look from the uh, customer point of view, there are a lot of expectations. Like say the banking as an industry is uh, more than uh, uh, two centuries old, but the digitization and technology is maybe uh, only a fraction of that. So the, uh, um, the market and the customers are expecting the best from both the traditional uh, trust which was built over centuries and also the quick and uh, uh, other uh, uh, speed with which things are happening through the uh, technology. So the banking sector's credibility will be maintained only by the way they are able to understand the needs of the customer always and always stay ahead of the curve which the sector is striving to do that uh, for which to improve the efficiency. Digitization is uh, uh, playing a major role in uh, getting that happen. It's a, a continuous uh, uh, process. So the, uh, the, 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 the technology upgradation is something which the strategy has to be uh, reviewed and analyzed uh, continuously as the uh, technology is changing uh, and the speed of uh, change of technology is also getting uh, accelerated. So the all the banks, uh, uh, particularly even the, uh, like say, the uh, both the public sector and uh, private sector, the, uh, this is something, the investment is an ongoing uh, activity. Uh, it uh, originally which was for non-branch channels and uh, later for the core banking and all now the digitization the evolution of the uh, fintech and all earlier the banks were uh, very much focused to have uh, everything uh, on their own now the partnership uh, getting the partnership and getting the best through partnership uh, through other fintech and all is also taking up uh, a big uh, um, a leap in uh, uh, the uh, recent years so the uh, any development at any part of the world done by any company, all banks are evaluating how to go about with these uh, uh, alliances and how they are going to help into the strategy. So this uh, uh, alliances and uh, working together is something uh, which is changing or has in improved the efficiency of the banking system to tune itself ahead of the curve and also to meet the expectations of the customers to a greater extent.